The OIC of the Fort Police informed the Fort Magistrates Court that the actions of the trade union leaders could disturb the activities of the public and thus based on that request the order was issued. The order was issued to 10 people including Samir Alvis, an activist from the Banking and Financial Forum, Niroshan Gorakhanage, General Secretary of the All Ceylon General Ports Employees Union, Samir Patirana, Deputy Chairman of the Ceylon Electricity Workers Union and Udyanga Hetiarachi, Spokesperson of the Ceylon Petroleum Workers Union. They are not permitted to proceed to the President's office, President's House, Central Bank of Sri Lanka, Police Headquarters, Fort Railway Station, as well as from CTO Junction to Olkan Mavata. Sri Lanka Police presented the court order to the trade union leaders ahead of the protest. <laughs> Thereafter, a protest took place opposite the Fort Railway Station. Sri Lanka police once again informed the group of the court order and requested they vacate the premises. However, the trade union members were seen continuing their protest despite the heavy rainfall experienced in the area.